Hello, Carew. I'm, I'm a little bit down today. I'm sad that you made the video that I worked so hard on yesterday private so that it's not shared with the world. And I can only assume that you're showing it to all your staff. Um, so, so to raise my spirits, I'm going to show you the progress of our remodel. Actually, the sheetrock guy came today to spec things out. And I think they're going to finish all of the pre-construction work in order to have it ready for sheetrocking. And he's going to start tomorrow morning at 7 o'clock, which I will be gone by then. So that's good. Uh, so here, this is what we're doing. Um, we have, um, I told you already about the outlets. The orange things that he's putting in here are the data drops for my new data plan. There's an outlet down there that was there. There's a new outlet over there, both over here and over there. Uh, there's Sarah. Um, there's a new outlet here. I already showed you all these. They've taken out the sink, and that will go away, I assume, and the dishwasher. They should be out of here tomorrow. I just kind of have to carry them out. We left the stove. Actually, this is um, Sarah. I don't know if you can see this went and got some stain to test on these beams, uh, this pieces of beam. And so there's actually three different kinds. And I think we're going to get the darkest one on the right, or she already bought it. So it's the darkest one on the right, except for she got it in a little bit of a gloss because it'll be easier to clean in that case. Um, so he's already sanded down all these beams and posts, so you can see that they're sanded and fairly presentable. Um, there. Uh, these are all sanded nice and pretty. Um, and he also added, because he was concerned about sagging in the roof, another beam down here, a third shorter beam. Um, and I think that's going to be good. Um, so he, when he put that in, he said that he was concerned that this beam, this span, was a little long um, and you know well before it was running to right here from there and it was just a I think it was three two by sixes glued together <clears throat> but um, so this should be sturdier than that but it's also a longer run so he also ran this this smaller beam over here which I think is gonna look nice as well um, you can see there's another data drop down over here in orange and I'll probably run four data cables over there for computer stuff and then three different outlets here outlets here um, we'll have lighting we're gonna have track lighting here over there and over here and all that track lighting is gonna match and here you can see he's framed up the wall for the bathroom so that we will use this existing door for the bathroom so I think that's all stuff that I've shown you before it's just a little a little bit more complete. Oh, my computer, or my music closet that I've always played music in, this is really cool. So this closet had no power in it. You can see that he's already put one power, an outlet there. And the light switch was out here. Now see how the door opens? So if you're in there and you want to mess with the light switch, you've got to come out and go around. So you got to turn on the light, then open the door. And so he moved the light switch in here. Um, and added power, a couple of power outlets. So when I move my music stuff back in here, I will be able to have power and light instead of, see, I, what I'd done before is I just left that light switch out there turned on and then I had a little power adapter plugged in there. And uh, yeah, so that's what I had. Um, that's basically what's been going on. Um, so yeah, the plan I think is to do the sheetrocking and get most of the sheetrocking done um, this week. All that work, uh, he's just gonna patch and then he's gonna texture the whole thing. Um, and then the flooring guy I think wants to come on Monday, but we'll see where the sheetrocking is. He may have to wait a day or two, which would be okay, um, I guess, because the wood is still curing. Um, and then they'll put down the floors, and I think 
you know, by the end of next week, we should have all the sheetrocking done and all the floors done in here. Um, and at that point, the cabinetry should show up after that week. Um, and uh, we'll see how things go. It's uh, So far, it's surprisingly smooth. I'm probably jinxing it. And uh, things will fall apart. But that's how it is. Um, hope things are going well with you. I hope uh, it's getting cold there. It, it got cold here, actually. So yesterday, it was like 50 degrees here. Um, and I went out at noon, and I was wearing a t-shirt. Or, you know, no jacket. I was wearing a vest. And... Um, and I came out of work at the end of the day, and I was like, I was standing outside talking to Scott. I was like, yeah, it feels like it's getting cold. I'm surprised. And it was still sunny and beautiful. And Scott said, yeah, I think it's getting cold. And so I, I came home, and I, Sarah and I went for a walk, and we left at about quarter to five or something. And um, we got outside, and it was getting cold fast. And um, we were walking down by the baseball park where they have the flags, and I was noticing that the, there was a wind blowing from the north. And it wasn't blowing hard, you know, it was just, but it was just like a steady flow of air, cold air coming from the north. And it had the flags all like they'd been shellacked and sticking straight out. Um, so, um, yeah, it was cold. And then Scott told me that, you know, Scott is Mr. Temperature, so he has a bunch of temperature sensors. Other people call them thermometers, but he has... Uh, data loggers actually in his backyard <laughs> and in various places in his house so he keeps track of the temperature outside and inside and, and all those things and he said it was 11 degrees um, at 4.30 in the morning outside of his house so it was cold today um, at um, 8 o'clock at work I looked at the thermometer, the external thermometer that I can see on my in, in my office and it said 16 degrees so yeah um, hopefully you guys will be getting snow soon along with the cold weather um, so that um, Galen doesn't have to uh, cross-country ski like he's doing short, short track figure skating and taking people out and stuff. Um, uh, that's all I got for you. So until I talk to you again, still dead.